Hey guys, welcome back to Jump Ball Central. Today we're going to be talking about why people hate LeBron James. Number one, Crampgate. The crying LeBron face is second to perhaps only to the crying Jordan face and expressing anguish. This is excellent company to be in, but there's no question that LeBron has had moments when his toughness has been in question. It is worth mentioning that LeBron has had a grueling marathon of years, he plays through the regular season, makes the finals, and when needed he plays for Team USA in the offseason. His physical style of play does him no favors in maintaining his health either. That being said, he has been accused of being soft on occasion, as when he got a case of the cramps in Game 1 of the 2014 NBA Finals against the Spurs and had to be carried off. When Kobe Bryant tore his Achilles, he limped over to the free throw line and hit two free throw shots which allowed the Lakers to win and make it to the playoffs. LeBron needed to be carried off for cramps. Here's the thing though, cramps can be devastating to move through. It isn't like a bloody face which a hockey player can grin through, this injury severely restricts mobility. As Dwayne Wade put it, from the outside, oh it's a cramp, can't play through a cramp. But until you walk into, until you're in the situation and you're in someone else's moccasins, you don't know what somebody else is going through. If a player like LeBron James is coming out of a ball game, up to, then it's serious. It's nothing to be joked about. Even a sports drink company which specializes in hydrating athletes wasn't above taking a shot at him. Which is often lost in the annals of history is that even Michael Jordan had to exit the NBA Finals match against the Utah Jazz due to cramps before his flu game. The Bulls lost that game. Number 2. LeBron James, CEO, Owner, Supreme Leader Michael Jordan didn't have carte blanche with the Bulls. In fact, his relationship with Bulls GM Jerry Cross was continuous to say the very least. Jordan remains close friends with his former teammate Charles Oakley to this day. Oakley was traded by the Bulls in a move which riled Jordan up big time. Although he later acknowledged his replacement Bill Cartwright's contribution saying, I loved having Charles on the team, but Bill made the difference. The Cavaliers would never, ever make a move without LeBron say so because for all intents and purpose, LeBron has run the organization like a player, coach, GM owner, along with his homeboys Rich Paul, Maverick Carter, and Randy Mims. It is rumored that LeBron wanted Miami Heat coach Eric Spolcher fired after four years with the Heat. Heat president and all-around hard-headed former coach Pat Riley refused. This was seen as pivotal in LeBron's decision to leave the Heat for an organization, which let him have the run of the house and fire David Blatt in the season in a move scorned by many coaches. The Cavaliers had given LeBron's friends unprecedented access, which is granted only to employees. When LeBron came to Cleveland while playing for the Heat, his entourage was declined access to the underground garage. He was used to having his way in every matter, but Cleveland were not having any of it this time. Number 1. Hides behind super teams in the East The Western Conference has been a bloody gauntlet over the last decade. Making it to the conference finals is seen as major accomplishments for a team. Contrast that with the East where the conference finalists consist of whichever team LeBron is on at the time and some other team. While the Western Conference team arrives to the NBA Finals hobbled and fatigued, LeBron's team usually has a much easier ride. Kobe is seen as a battle-tested veteran, while LeBron is seen as someone who just plays for a 1-7 game series. Having said that, given the opportunity, anyone would choose the easier conference to play in seeing how small things can derail championship hopes. The Wests have some perennial powerhouses and the Spurs, Warriors, Thunder, Clippers, and Rockets. That doesn't make the 48-minute grind of the Eastern Conference any less bloody. In sports, loathing the opponent is something of a national pastime. A lot of reasons that LeBron James is hated makes for good drama and entertainment. These reasons, some of them valid in their own right, can inspire derision and scorn. Outright hatred is something one ought to reserve for tyrants and miscreants who seek to do us harm. All LeBron seeks is to do is to win games and have a good time while doing it. Feel free to ridicule the guy, hating seems unwarranted though. Thanks for watching our video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you never miss any videos in the future.